Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. Okay, so right now we will be solving question 9C only as you requested. Okay, so 9C we have 1 plus sine theta plus cos theta over 1 plus sine theta minus cos theta equals to cotangent theta over 2. Okay, so step 1 choose left hand side or right hand side it's a question guys do i need to choose left or right the tips here is before this i said to you about choosing you know if you have tangent cotangent secant cosecant you mesti nak pilih yang tu kan tapi yeah but this question is a bit special a bit different lah Senang cakap Because the cotangent of theta over 2 is too easy you know Too simple to start with Therefore And Therefore we have to choose the left hand side So but right hand side tu um, Terlalu senang So tak tahu macam mana nak um, Nak sambung okay? Jadi kita buat left hand side Kita tulis Tulis dulu dulu left hand side ni And then Here we go Kita kena faham satu benda Tentang sin theta Sin theta dan cos theta Cos theta yang saya highlight tu And kita kena tahu satu benda Dia ber Related dengan Half angle triangle, Sorry half angle Formula So you mesti pandai tengok um, Jenis apa um, kena peka formula apa yang perlu diguna So here melibatkan half angle formula Whereby sin A equals to 2 sin A over 2 cos A over 2 So this is the first formula The second formula adalah cos A equals to 2 cos squared A over 2 minus 1 And another one is 1 minus 2 sin squared A over 2 Ada dua jenis kan So you, it's okay you write whatever you have here so this three formula is quite famous lah to use in exam. Always be used in exam. So step two, what you need to do is just sub in the formula into the left hand side part. Okay, so saya minta maaf dekat sini. Saya telah menggunakan formula dia, iaitu sine a. Saya masukkan two sine a over two cos a over two. Uh, sepatutnya saya guna theta kan, tapi saya terguna a. So it's okay. Just proceed. And then, oh my god, cos theta ada dua formula, you know. Cos A ada dua formula kan. So, which one to choose? Which one should I choose? Wait. Okay, just wait there for a moment. Kita le tuliskan dulu bahagian denominator iaitu 1 plus sin theta. Masukkan nilai, masukkan formula, double angle, 2 sin A over 2 cos a over 2 plus oh my god cos theta ada dua jenis formula what should i choose okay so here in this blank bracket here um, bracket yang kosong dekat sini dekat sinilah saya kena berhati-hati dan pilih formula yang tepat untuk diletak di situ so i need to go to my right hand side my right hand side i know it is cotangent theta over 2 kan so cotangent bermaksud cos over sine so, I know that cos berada di numerator Di belah atas So, bila cos dekat atas Itu yang saya kena expect Saya kena faham Expectation saya Oh, aku kena dapatkan atas ni cos Kena tengok jawapan dulu Sebab ni kan soalan proving kan So, jawapan saya Cos dekat atas Kenalah saya guna formula yang mempunyai cos Jadi, saya masuklah nilai Saya masukkanlah dalam bracket ni Formula yang ada cos So, 2 cos squared A over 2 minus 1 so, dekat jawapan, sign berada di bawah, di denominator. Jadi, saya kena expect dekat bawah akan perlu guna formula double angle yang mempunyai sign. Okay, so gunalah yang ada sign theta over 2 punya formula. So, here, I should use 1 minus 2 sine squared A over 2. So, itulah kena pandai tengok. Pandai compare apa yang akan aku dapat sebagai jawapan dia untuk jawapan dia okay so it's okay this is about proving punya question it is 
like that it is just like that okay this is what you call a trick a tricky questions so proving is actually a a very tricky one so you have to be brilliant okay so now oops again i think i made um, mistakes here i should be more careful i should have been written there a negative ah uh, saya tukarkan positif dekat situ menjadi negatif hati-hati tengok balik soalan and then i i write it down nicely without the bracket okay write it down nicely darab masuk positif negatif hati-hati okay so negative one plus okay plus sebab darab masuk kan negatif negatif positif so i know that one minus one is zero one minus one is zero atas bawah tinggallah a more simplified version iaitu that thing divided by that thing over there okay you tengok sendiri eh and then step three here we go step three kita ada kita perlu buat factorize the common terms we have two terms here yang common adalah cos a over 2 so cos a over 2 dan 2 nilai 2 bawa keluar dan tinggallah yang di dalamnya sin a over 2 plus cos a over 2 so denominator pula bawa keluar 2 sin a over 2 the rest of it inside of the bracket is cos a over 2 cos a over 2 plus plus sin a over 2 okay therefore ooh do you what they are the same atas dan bawah jadi boleh lah cut kan it goes it give us 1 nilai 1 atas bawah dan sama 2 pun dah sama I mean 2 bahagi 2 pun 1 therefore kita dapat cos A over 2 divided by sin A over 2 and then we got cotangent A over 2 sama lah dengan right hand side and then you put proven okay here here we go I'm really really sorry about this guys I should have been using data okay guys saya tersilap dekat sini I hope you forgive me But the answer is just the same anyway. Just make sure you all use data. Okay? All the best.